Hello, this is permutation and combination lesson 5. In this, I will discuss circular arrangement basics plus questions. Total arrangement of n different things in a circle. That is the first question. Let, let me say that I want to arrange A, B, C and D. Now, how I used to arrange? This place can be filled in four ways. Let's say B came here. Remaining second place can be filled in remaining three letters let's say d came here third place can be filled with any of, any of the two remaining any of the remaining two letters this in two ways and this in one way so four factorial was my answer there is second method for this but second method says that letter by letter you can also arrange letter by letter a b c d i have four letters now for let's say I want to first place A. Now A can be placed for A. There are four different positions. If A comes here, this is a different position. If A comes here, this is a different position. If A comes here at this different position. If A comes here, this is a different position. For all four positions are different from for A. Because here A is left most here is second from left here a is second from right and here is right most right most a is there whereas in circular arrangement if you see this i want to let's see these are the four places where four letters will come if A comes here, or you can say that if A comes here, all positions are same. All positions are same for A. They are not four different positions. You can say that all positions are same. Here we will say that we can say that in first case here we can say that A is sitting at one of the place. We can't say it left or right because left or right is with respect to something. In a row we have we know how many places we have so we can say that left most place. In circle there is no such beginning or you can say that end of the row. Here we can say that A is also sitting at one of the place. Here also and here also. So very important difference between circular and linear arrangement is that first person can be arranged in linear arrangement in linear arrangement i'm just writing first person can be arranged in as in this case four ways a can be placed in four ways any of the four positions whereas in circular arrangement circular arrangement first person or first letter can be arranged in only one way only one position is there. All four are same. That's the basic and the most important difference in linear and circular arrangement. In linear arrangement, first person or first letter can be positioned or placed in four ways as per this question, four places I have. Whereas in circular arrangement, first person can sit or first letter can be arranged in only one way. Because in circle, there is no such left and right as there are in linear arrangement so let me complete this question linear arrangement first i will make a and circular arrangement i will fill letter by letter a b c d first let let me place this letter a now a can be placed in four ways these four positions these four positions are different positions let's say a came here so a can be placed in four ways I'm just writing four. In circle arrangement, A can be placed. I'm just writing A, B, C, and D. This A can be placed. This tick mark A can be placed in one way. Let's say A came here. So one way. What about B? B in linear arrangement. Let's come to linear. Linear can be placed in three seats. We have three different seat positions. These positions are. So B can be placed in three ways. Let's say B came here. In circular arrangement also, now B has three different positions. 
because if b comes here at this place we will say that b is immediate right of a we are assuming that all are facing the center if b comes here we will simply say that b is at the right immediate right of a if b comes here we will say that b is opposite to a if b comes here we will say that b is just immediate left of a now second person has three different position in circle only the first person there is a difference in linear and circular arrangement first person can be arranged in one way but for the second person there are three places and three different positions we have so b can be placed in three ways let's say b comes here three ways what about c in linear arrangement c two seats are there c can come here or here two ways to fill c so let's say c can came here two ways to fill fill c also in circular arrangement these two positions are different if c comes here we will simply say that c is left of b c is left of b but if c came here this c will be right of b so we have two different positions for c two different position means c can be filled in two ways let's say c came here this place c came this place and the last person d will come in one way in linear arrangement and same one position left for d this is one position left for d one thing so here the answer will be three factorial here the answer will be four factorial that's the basic difference in linear and circular now let me generalize the things if i want to arrange n different things different word is important n different things linear arrangement there will be n factorial ways four things four factorial five things five factorial whereas in circular arrangement there will be n minus 1 factorial ways why n minus 1 factorial because let's say these are the n seats and so on n seats we have first person can sit in one way first person can sit in one way let's say first person sit in one way rest n minus 1 can be arranged in n minus 1 factorial way so that's why we have n minus 1 as i discussed in the previous slide first person wa can can be arranged in only one way as generalized in this case you can see that first person a or first letter a can be arranged in only one way in a circular arrangement rest of the three can be arranged in three factorial ways so same logic i am applying first person can be arranged in one way rest n minus 1 can be arranged in n minus 1 factorial way that's why we have n minus 1 factorial let's discuss some question on the base of circular arrangement in how many ways seven student can sit around a circular table now you can simply say that seven different things can be arranged in circle in 7 minus 1 factorial that is 6 factorial ways that is by formula because n different things can be arranged in circle in n minus 1 factorial ways or you can simply say that first person seven students we need to arrange 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 first person can come sit in one way only because all positions are same for the first position person all positions are same so first person can sit in one way remaining six have different positions six different students can be placed in six factorial ways that will be your final answer second question is in how many ways 10 boys and 5 girls can be seated around a circular table such that a particular boy and a particular girls are always together so we will make them a group group a particular boy and a particular girl comes together rest we will make them a group let's say i name them as group x this is x i will represent both of them with the letter x rest 13 students are there 
13 students because 13 students are there one boy particular boy and girl they always want to come sit together so let them i have make a group group that name i have given x so 13 students and one x 14 units i need to arrange or 14 different things i need to arrange in circle 14 different things i need to arrange in circle so 14 different things in a circle can be arranged in 13 factorial ways because first unit can be placed in one way remaining 13 can be placed in 13 factorial way or simply you can remember that for n different things can be arranged in a circle in n minus 1 factorial ways so 14 different things can be arranged in a circle in 13 factorial ways now these two boys can bo this boys and girls pair can also interchange their position they can also rearrange within themselves so two things can be rearranged in themselves in two factorial ways so answer is 13 factorial into two factorial question 3 is six boys and six girls are to be seated around a circular table such that no two boys are together we don't want boys to be together so first we will arrange six girls in the circle first i will arrange six girls on six seats in the circle now six girls i need to arrange and i need to arrange six boys first i will arrange girls because in between the girls i will place the boys because questions say that no two boys are together so six girls can come on six places in five factorial ways because first first person only for first person in a circle there is one way for girl number one this is just one position girl number one can be placed in a circular table or can sit in a around a circular table in only one way because all positions are same for girl number one rest five girls can be placed in five factorial way let's say this is g3 g4 g2 g5 and g6 this is one of the cases i am taking out of 120 arrangement this will be one of the arrangement i am taking now six boys how many places we have for boys we have to arrange boys such that no two boys are together so i have this circular places for boys six boys and i have six places these are six different position remember that only for first person in a first person placing the all the positions are same for all other persons all positions are different so six boys six different positions six different you can say that positions or six different you can say that places six boys can be arranged in six different places or six different positions in six factorial way so that will be your final answer question four is there are 11 friends they have to sit around the two different tables one of the table is straight has six seats other is circular has five seats so let's say this straight table this has six seats one two three four five and six seats this is a straight table second is a circular table which have five seats five seats in a circular table now in how many ways these 11 friends can sit around these two tables so there are two ways either first you can place the student in this table straight table and then in circle or vice versa for example let me solve this first you can uh, straight table and then you can place the student in circular or vice versa you can arrange them in circular and then you can arrange them in straight table answer will be same first you can arrange them in straight and then circular first circular and then straight answer will be same so straight first i need to select straight straight table how many persons will come six which six questions comes which six logically you see that it's very simple chapter you want to arrange six persons in this straight table which six first question will come which six 
so first we will select 11c6 this six person we will select those who will sit on this trade table they can be selected in 11c6 ways once i have selected six persons these six persons can sit can sit around this straight table this six person can sit around this straight table in six factorial ways because all positions are different now remaining five remaining five because six i have already selected so five remaining five will sit around this circular table now five persons five different person can sit around in around a circular table in five minus one factorial four factorial ways so answer would be 11 c 6 into 6 factorial into 4 factorial 5 persons 5 different person can be arranged in 5 minus 1 factorial ways in a circular arrangement as first person can sit in one way remaining 4 in 4 factorial ways otherwise you can first place them in a circular table now in circular table 5 persons will come which 5 the question will come which 5 so first I will select five persons all possible five ways of select five per, all possible ways of selecting five out of 11 is 11 c 5 in this i have selected those five persons who will sit on this circular table now five person i have selected this selected person can sit in this table circular table in four factorial ways now five are already placed the remaining six will definitely sit on the straight table on the straight table the six persons who are remaining can sit on the straight table as all have different positions all positions are different so this can be they can be arranged in a straight table in six factorial way so answer is 11 c 5 into 4 factorial into 6 factorial these both are same answer because 11 c 6 is same as 11 c 5 as n c r is equals to n c n minus r so both answers are same so either you can first arrange them in a straight straight table and then in circular or vice versa your answer will be same so that was all about permutation and combination lesson 5 circular arrangements basics and questions